Yo, what is up guys? This is the Brick Doe here. I want to let you guys know of a newly unveiled set. This is going to be the 10300 Back to the Future Time Machine. It's going to come with 1,856 pieces. It's going to be rated 18 plus and it's going to cost $170. Available April 1st on lego.com. So we knew this set was coming all the way back in November. It's been a pretty quiet since then. It was on the Creator Expert uh, sort of leaked set number list at the beginning of this year. And we, we knew this set number was linked towards this. But we haven't really heard much since November in regards to details of this set uh, until yesterday when Promo Bricks uh, had another leak in regards to specific information of this set. And what do you know, we wake up this morning on March 17th and we have the uh, unveiling from LEGO officially. So what does this set come with and what do I think about it? So this is going to be more of a UCS style Back to the Future time machine. Uh, in my opinion, it's kind of similar, I guess, to the Ghostbusters um, Echo 1. Um, in that, you know, we did see a LEGO Ideas version of this set way back when. Um, that was quite a while ago and that set goes for quite a bit of money now. And uh, now we have sort of more of a UCS style, much more detailed and one of the interesting things, I guess, even in just comparison to the Etco one to this is that one of my main questions surrounding this set was, are we going to have minifigures with it? Because I think that would be a nice selling point for collectors. And I'm happy to tell you guys that this does come with two minifigures. It's going to come with Doc and Marty McFly. And one of the interesting aspects of this is that the minifigure prints on here are going to be from the uh, Back to the Future Part 2, the second movie, whereas the Lego Ideas set had their... Um, uh, had the prints from the uh, first movie so if you had the set from the lego ideas uh this is just another reason of why you might want to pick up this set i think that was very smart of lego um given the fact that you know if you have the smaller one and you have the minifigures and if they didn't include minifigures in this or included the same ones i think that would be uh that those people definitely just wouldn't have a huge reason to buy this um, but i think including these minifigures is definitely going to maybe pull in some of those collectors that had the lego ideas one and were maybe on the fence of buying this one another interesting aspect of this set is that it is kind of a little bit of a three in one uh, i say that very lightly but they use that uh, wording on the advertising on the back of the box in that you'll be able to make slight modifications to the time machine to either uh, have it represent back to the future uh, one back to the future part two or back to the future part three so, you know, if you have a favorite movie or you have a certain display style that you would like to uh, portray here, you're going to have that option. Uh, notably, I think from uh, Back to the Future Part 2, you do have the, where the wheels sort of flip up to the side and it's in its sort of uh, flying flying form. I think if that, you know, that was something you'd like to display, you're going to have the option to do that. Uh, definitely, too, sort of the gold wing doors uh, folding up is definitely a neat function on this set uh, from the DeLorean in general. And we also get a light up brick in this set, kind of interesting um, as the you know flux capacitator. But eh, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like they were at least in the press release they were very proud of it. it seemed like that they included this this light brick. But I mean honestly, it's nothing new. It's a little bit new for something like this uh, being an eighteen plus set and including that. And um, yeah, I guess it's a little bit neat. But overall, you know, you guys know the light bricks go. They've been around for a while and nothing super new there. Also, too, as far as uh, accessories and things like that, uh, it looks like most of the accessories are going to be including stickers. So, example, like the hoverboard and things like that, um, it, it looks like mostly sticker application. I'm not sure about how many uh, printed pieces in comparison to uh, uh, stickers, but it seems like it'll be more of a stickered set. Not a ton of stickers, but for the parts that do, it'll look like there, there probably will be stickers here if that was something you were uh, looking to hear about. So what do I think about this overall? Well, I'm not a huge Back to the Future fan, so it'll probably be a pass for me. I do think this is a good set and probably a needed set given the price uh, on the secondary market of that Lego Ideas one. Um, I think that this at $170 is, is a really uh, pr pretty fine price for this. And then also to you, like I, I was talking about a little bit earlier, you know, if you do have the Lego Ideas set and you are a Back to the Future fan, I think it's a really nice option to pick up. It's just the scale is just completely different. You do get two new minifigures, which I think is a nice incentive. And also, I think the ability to sort of change it uh, from different movies and stuff like that are going to make it a really nice display piece or make it uh, nice to have the ability to sort of change up that display piece every once in a while with slight modifications uh, to sort of represent which movie uh, you want it to represent. Now, that all, that all that being said, you know, I think this is definitely an interesting set just in the overall scheme of 
uh, you know, if we look at the Edco one and this, obviously the Echo one must have sold pretty well if they decided to go with this. That's kind of what this tells me a little bit, but still interesting nevertheless. And then one other uh, aspect too, although I'm not a huge Back to the Future fan, this is a set I'll probably keep an eye on. Um, I, I always just think back to like the Ghostbusters HQ, that thing just skyrocketed in price post-retirement. I wasn't a huge Ghostbusters fan either. I was kind of a little bit before my time. I mean, I watch those movies and whatnot, but I'm not a huge like uh, collector or fan of that stuff. And it's kind of the same deal with Back to the Future here. But I just think about that it's such a skyrocketed. And so I've been trying to keep uh, my eye on a bit more of these sets from that, uh, you know, from the movies from that era, things like that. So this is stuff. This would definitely be a set kind of going into retirement. I'll probably keep an eye on, um, you know, maybe see if it'll be a good option to maybe uh, pick up and then resell in the future. Obviously, there's still a lot to unfold until that those decisions had to be made. But again, that's something I, I, I will keep my eye on for this set. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this set. What do you think about the whole three in one uh, thing or just overall uh, with this set? And what do you think about sort of the value you get from this? And what do you think about the minifigures? If you guys are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and text some guys. This is Brickdo signing off.